Alright you guys, just got back from a trip into town, and boy, things are crazy down there. Not crazy, they're just weird. It's like a ghost town to some degree. I mean, it's usually so much more busy that... I uh, got some... So I got some stuff for the welding project. We're gonna try out this new helmet. Got some steel! Oh my gosh, steel is expensive. I'm not sure I remember it. I've only bought in steel, like, maybe a handful or two of times. In the past, and boy, 60 bucks for these two pieces. Uh, got two pieces of flat bar, got a sheet, a uh, 16 gauge sheet there to make the battery box. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. I also got food. Yes, also food. Also very weird in Winco. Just nobody in there. Six foot rule signs everywhere and marks on the ground everywhere for when you're standing at the registers. A crazy way to get through. Um, check out one guy kind of intercepts you and says I, I walked up into this uh, there's like a stop line and you have to walk past that to get to the, to the bread but I walked past it got the bread and I guess that yeah that was the last thing on my list and this guy's sitting there waiting he's like are you ready and he directed me to number 9 I think but the number 8 lady took me um, it was all very coordinated very nuts and I heard some, yeah, I think it might have got that on camera, but one guy coughing his butt off, too. That was freaky. That had me kind of just had the hair stand up on the back of my neck, like, ah, oh, get away. It was the other side of the store, and yeah, he was coughing so good I could hear him. It was echoing throughout the store. So yeah, grocery stores, everything slow in town. Ghost town right now. I mean, not too bad. There's traffic, but like I said, to what it normally is, it's weird. Another thing of mayonnaise, just in case. Uh, I think that's my third jar. But we are also stocked up on more tuna! We got the albacore, bumblebee, and water, finally. Uh, we're looking not so bad. And hey, look at that, finally, got some Portland ketchup. This is my favorite ketchup. Also stocked up on four cans of this golden white corn. I like the corn, it goes good with mashed potatoes. Oh, and a big old jar! Whole pickles, some kosher deals. Decided to go with a old company here, it looks like, since 1926, Mount Olive. Love having one of those with a tuna sandwich. Um, what else did I get? A thing of buns for my hamburgers. Also, that go these work okay with um, the uh, tuna if I run out of bread, out of loaves. If I'm out of loaves, then I can use the. Uh, I like having those with uh, tuna sandwiches, the buns. Is that it? No! We also got a new pair of welding gloves to go with my welding helmet. Also cheap. But I, I, I already tried this thing and it's awesome. I have not had... I've never had an auto darkening except for when I was in welding class in high school. But I've never had my own auto darkening. So here we go. Here's my to-go kit. I have the spray bottle, some napkins to wipe things down with, my respirator. Uh, I think I got a pair of just safety goggles in there too for eye protection. Some Vulcan. Yeah, I got a new pair too, but these are all stiff and kind of, I don't really like them. Great for handling hot pieces of metal, though, or hot if you're working on something. But yeah, these I've had since high school. I had to buy your own gloves for welding class, and these are, I'm quite certain, yes, these are my welding gloves. I've never bought another pair, except for these those other leather ones that are a little too thick. Um, but yeah, these things are freaking awesome. My goat skins. Fingers pretty stiff from... Uh, on this side, but this is the hand that is really bad on. Stitching has even started popping out on that. Cause I, got, I don't even know what was how I managed to do that. I was holding something and welding too close to it, and I just fried that. So it's not too bad, but uh, I'd like to break in a new pair. And like I said, these are kind of sentimental. It's my original. My original goat skins, I'll save those, put those in with, uh, start using these Vulcans, see how I like them. 
welding project coming up. Stay tuned. Also got a large crescent wrench while I was at the Harbor Freight, so I could uh, for taking on and taking off the regulator off the tank. Needed a big needed a big crescent wrench for my arsenal, anyways. Looks like a 15 inch, 375 millimeter. Should get the sticky stuff off of there. And I got the hung on with the carabiner. More noise while I'm driving. Yay. Well, I've run out of propane. Between those, uh, just with that short time out boondocking and the uh, week or so that I've been back, that seems to have just obliterated the propane. I don't think I've ever used it um, that frequently here at the ranch. I'd usually supplement it with electrical heat. And now that I'm not, it just, yeah, it vanished. What the heck? Now I got the diesel heater going, and I have to say, the diesel heater is a huge money saver. I can't believe how fast that propane went. Using the propane furnace 100% uh, of the time. Love these things. I do hate being out of propane, that's for sure. Can't use my furnace. I'm not using that furnace anymore. I can't believe how fast that burns up propane. I either forgot that or I've never really used it um, that consistently. So anyway, I got this old electric burner back out. This is a dual top. Uh, one large and one medium sized burner. So I could cook some burgers. And uh, I was up in storage in the barn, so I needed some cleaning and wiping it down with some rubbing alcohol and iso or isopropyl alcohol and distilled water, half and half ish. Um, helps break down the grease, get it off of there. It's just kind of my. I don't know, it's probably something better to clean with, but. Open sponge, actually, I think it's working too. This was the final wash, the it was pretty dusty, so I kinda wanted to sterilize it anyway. Alright, cooking with electric. Takes a little longer to heat up, but a little easier to come by electricity. Um, propane. Once that runs out, I gotta, I gotta go into town. One thing I gotta say I like about these, though, at least on the big burner, it's got a much larger surface area that heats up and stuff, like the propane burners, which is just right here in the middle. It makes my hamburgers cook. Weird. Some cheese over here warming up by the heater. So it's not so cold out the fridge. Ketchup and a mayo with some relish. Mayonnaise and coleslaw. Yummy. All right, you guys, let's check out a new camera sent in by a viewer. Brett Miller, thank you so much, Brett, for being so helpful. New camera, awesome. Something we've needed here really bad for a while. Another GoPro, we'll see how this one works. The last one, as you guys know, has been very um, unreliable. So we're gonna try out this and 
See how it does. Ourselves a GoPro and some accessories. GoPro Hero 8. That is freaking awesome. Brett, thank you so much. That's going to help out a ton. Legit GoPro, too. None of this cheap stuff I've been trying to work with. Uh, I do have that Session Hero Session 4, which is a cube camera. But as you guys know, that has not been doing so well. Freaking awesome. So we got a couple rechargeable batteries. 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. Oh, that's nice too. It's got a view screen on the back. That's uh, that will also be very helpful. So you can see what I'm filming. Very nice. This is uh, interesting. A little loop for something. Where you open up a GoPro. Oh, and we also got a card reader down here in the bottom, too. I almost missed. That is super handy. Awesome. to this all right a GoPro Hero 8 that is nice I like it has a nice looking camera All right, here's what's in the box. Little battery. Cord. Camera. Some instructions. Some stickers. Some awesome, uh, good quality GoPro stickers. That's cool. Neat looking setup. I like it. Alright, awesome deal. Two rechargeable batteries, including the one it came with, the memory card, card reader, the GoPro, and the accessories. Awesome setup, Brett. Thank you so much. It's going to help out a ton. Let's go try it out. I am loving this thing. It's got a touch screen the image stabilization seems to work very well and uh, it's updating itself right now all operating the uh, connecting and all that stuff operating uh, a whole lot smoother than what the session what the uh, GoPro session 4 was doing
All right, you guys. GoPro Hero 8. I'm loving it. I've played with it a few more times, and I just love the touch screen. I love the new design of the case. It's got flip-up little mounting tabbies. It's apparently waterproof, as it is. Usually you have to put these things inside of a, a case for it to be waterproof. Oh, and I love the display on the front. It's showing me what it's recording as, uh, what quality of video, what size, uh, scale. The time I'm recording, got two hours left on my memory card, 98% left on the battery. That is so cool. I love this thing. This is freaking nice. Gonna have to see the quality of the picture here when I get back to edit this footage, but it does look very good from what I can tell. So I'm gonna do just a quick walk around. Enjoy this beautiful weather and get some footage to take a look at here. Yeah, this thing is cool. I like it. All right, you guys, let me know what you think. I think it looks pretty great from right here. This GoPro Hero 8 footage is phenomenal. I love the image, stabiliz image stabilization. It's, it's insane. It's like I have a gimbal on, on the uh, camera. But the footage is so good. I'm having problems with my PC now, just like I was having problems with my laptop in the past. Um, it's the video is getting out of sync and it's let's let it play a little bit here there it goes I see I can't even have to pause and then play to sync it back up yeah it's time to put that video card in that's weird I haven't seen that problem since I had the laptop still in here all right, you guys, stay tuned. Lots coming up. Thanks for watching. Bye.